Hello, my name is Ali Zishan. Um, I'm technical marketing manager for Standard Logic um, here at NXP in our sunny San Jose. Uh, for USB switching needs, essentially USB 2.0 switching needs, um, NXP offers NX3 DV 2 to 1. This is a high bandwidth um, analog switch in a single pole double throw configuration. The spy voltage is from 2.3 to 3.6 volts and it switches the inputs up to 5.5 volts. The neat thing is, switch consumes really low power of less than 2 microamps um, in the low power mode, and then with the on resistance of less than 6 ohms max, uh, the switch gives you a neat uh, eye test or eye diagram, um, and here you can see the signals and the output rise and fall time that's well within the mask. Uh, as specified by USB 2.0 standard. Uh, with a typical bandwidth of 1 gigahertz, uh, the switch offers a performance which is really at par with the, um, uh, the solutions available in the industry today uh, and it's equally suitable for consumer applications uh, as well as uh, handheld portable devices. The switch is offered in 10 pin uh, QFN packages um, there are two of those uh, and the idea is it saves the PCB space uh, and improves the layout as well as the routing uh, on the board. For USB switch we offer um, an evaluation board as well and in this evaluation board the USB 2.0 signals are coming uh, from the notebook they are going to a main connector uh, which is a USB type A connector uh, and then they are demultiplexed out uh, to the two USB slave drives. So what we'll do is, uh, we'll play a movie from either of the two USB slave drives um, and then we'll toggle the input to show how you can s select either of the two devices and how efficient it is. So currently you can see um, we have selected a free agent drive um, which is a Seagate drive, uh, a silver drive shown here. And we will be playing a movie from the Seagate drive. So this is a high definition um, video and the bandwidth required by the signals is pretty close to one gigahertz. And if you don't see any stopping in the movie, which uh, you will not, we can guarantee that the switch is offering a bandwidth of 1 gigahertz um, or close to 1 gigahertz at all times. That is why even for the graphics which are really demanding, um, like uh, this one where a car is moving at a fast speed, uh, if the bandwidth is high enough you won't see any stopping of video or blocks uh, on the screen. And that is what exactly is happening here. Um, which shows the high performance of USB 2.0 switching. Now, we'll be going back to the board and essentially toggle the select pin and select a drive which is an NXP uh, USB drive uh, connected to the second port over there. And the idea is we will play a different movie from that drive which is also a high definition movie and show the same thing. The digital signals going through the switch uh, they are touching 1 gigahertz or the requirement is close to 1 gigahertz. Uh, again the switch offers a seamless uh, pass through from the main USB port uh, going to the output and then being played back um, on the PC. So in that case the content is coming from the NXP drive and then being played back on the screen here uh, without any artifacts uh, which essentially proves we have um, a USB 2.0 solution uh, which is compliant to the standard. And that's all from uh, NXP Logic. Um, hope you had fun and see you again next time. Bye.